Hva er det sammen? Mitt navn er Stig Sytagen, også kjent som Dragon Lore. Og dette er episode 4, tror jeg vi har kommet til nå. I Let's Play-serien. Jeg skal rette på det i titteren hvis det ikke stemmer. Jeg har en liten Stanley Parable Marathon her i dag. Så da begynner jeg å dette litt til å hype meg. And for those of you who don't speak Norwegian and just kind of raised your eyebrows while I was talking in my strange, weird language. Uh, my name is Stig Sutagen, also known as Dragon Noor, and this, I think, is episode 4 of the Stanley Parable. I'm doing a small kind of marathon here, and you probably noticed by now, if you're a keen observer, that I am still wearing the same t-shirt, and it's kind of gradually the same lighting in the background here, so not much is changing by the episode. Um, but uh, I'm kind of curious to see if the game changes. Uh, Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. It's yeah, part of the to game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. <laughs> and if he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like I said, uh, I think it's interesting to see how things are changing as you play. There's all these extra added tidbits, and they disappear once you quit the game. So, um, yeah, let's see how long we can keep this going. All of his co-workers were gone. What could yeah. it mean? What could it Stanley mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Can I... Input? No, now this is turned off again. What? This this makes no sense to me. Oh, input. Really? How? But... This is making no sense. Now there's two. So every playthrough, every time I restart the game, there's gonna be another chance to input something on this computer. This is puzzling me. This is really puzzling me. I want to find out about that computer at some point. Is this here before? The ladder and the roof and everything. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps yes. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, so let's follow this door. I and think so I... he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Back on track? That sounds so boring. Let's try this elevator. Loading, 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 loading. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. from here it's, um, left. What? Why not right? What if I wanted to go right? Where's oh, this? no. No, it's to what? the right, my mistake. But now I want to go left. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, narrator? No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> Uh, right, down, right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay, can I try this truck? How did this truck get in here? How, there's like, there's no gate. I can't see any gate. There's just this plywood wall or whatever it is. It could have driven in here, but where would have I... <laughs> this makes no sense. This truck is in the complete wrong place. So where are we... 
No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not <laughs> supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just <laughs> to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? Fired! You're fired, Starrider! The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just this restart the, the game there? from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. From what? What? No! That wasn't my intention. That was cheap. All of his co-workers were gone. What yes, they are gone. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Where is this computer now? Is it here somewhere? No, it's not here. Or is this just part of the current playthrough I'm in? And why are these computers kind of... That computer wasn't on when I went around here. We're not here, but where the hell... Is it random where that computer appears? Could it be here now, or... Something here? I'm getting... <laughs> I'm going getting so into that computer. There is nothing but that computer. When Stanley, oh, wait, wait. Okay, what we're in the character one. No, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. Narrator, change. Screwed up, Stanley. Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or? A Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. <laughs> Let's find the story. I want to jump over here, but I can't jump. This guy, he's been sitting at his computer for so long, his legs are atrophied. Can I go here? What's in here? Do I just... I want to go with where the chairs are. Or is that kind of like, oh, so the door doesn't close. You kind of really have to investigate. So where is this going? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just, do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find oh, it unlikely I... that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. So now I'm back here, on the other side. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Huh? What did you do? Now, right. Oh, he restarted again. <sighs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could they it mean? Were gone. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let's see if we can find that computer again now. Not there, not there, not here, not there, no, not here, period. Hmm. And okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? But there might be some hidden door. Maybe if I push this plant or something, maybe there's a hidden door like in Doom. Okay, let's go back. Is there something there? No. No. And the mystery computer is no different. Uh -huh. uh, well, I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. What? We found the story. Are we gonna go around in circles again? Yeah, we're going around in circles again. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our here. steps. <laughs> and this is new and mucky. Now this. Well, I'll be honest, I don't I think we're in under hell. <laughs> is this the story? I don't think so. 
I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Would well, you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. <laughs> the... <laughs> the Stanley Parable Adventure right, Line. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Yeah, how simple is that? Yeah. Oh, what happens if I <laughs> don't follow the line right now? I want to see if this computer is here. I, I think it only appears after you... Uh... <laughs> I'm a bit undecided here now, but I'm kind of curious as to what is here. So let's let's just follow the line. I haven't... What is this? Somebody's playing solitaire, and I can't turn it off. Aww. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. <laughs> Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Oh, not, not sure back where here. I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> I go here, like... <laughs> Onwards to glory! <laughs> Somebody's pouring all the cups. <laughs> okay. Eight. Oh, 
between ledgers, corporate Im imbalances, financial records, consolidation, was annual reviews. Oh god, look at all this folder. There's mail files. There's something in here. Maybe that's what I'm free with Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Huh? Stanley, this, this fern? fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Oh yeah, look at that fern. Look at all those details. I am computering that fern. Look at Listen to that keyboard. <laughs> okay. So a fern. And it's gonna be important to the story. Again, reminds me of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy when that whale turns into, into Wait, a what, fern or we're part of the plant. office. No, no, yeah, we're no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story. <laughs> Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, so now we're going here. <gasps> I was wondering when we were would be getting to go here, but we're not going through this door. We're going through this door. Spooky. So where are we ending up? We're <laughs> oh, no. we're back here. <laughs> no, not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you. Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. uh. The Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Okay, so, so now what do we do, narrator? Stanley, I say forget the Adventure Line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Yes. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Four, three, seven. Okay. I'm with you. Now. Yes, this yes. is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Uh, but we are walking... Hey! Something did happen. <coughs> oh no, not you again. <laughs> Stan, the adventure line. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No <laughs> lines or monitor rooms. Yeah. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. The line doesn't play well. We're not friends with you, line. Go away. <laughs> Seems like someone is <laughs> flying around in no gravity while pissing all over the wall. And it disappeared up here. <laughs> oh god. Now where does this take ah, us? Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I no. know that each door has to Screw lead the system. Which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. What about the left one? The confusion ending. You have been conf uh, playing the What's confusion this? ending for 16 minutes hmm. and 17 ending. seconds. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? So we're at the My fourth restart. Blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall. 
Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? <laughs> so, okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey, though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... <laughs> Oh no, it restarted on its own. And now he's forgotten. Hasn't he? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Could Stanley it be? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let's see, if that computer is here and it's online, then it's a new story. No, we're still on the same track. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm, yeah. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh god, there's the adventure line! <laughs> yeah, that's... okay, so definitely. We Standing are. now in this incredible room, Stanley for the yes. first time, but incredible eager to get room. back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. So now let's use the uh, elevator here. See, Stanley yes. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your <laughs> trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This her? is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's what? been waiting. May contain... Contamination? Is that it? Ooh. Those machines are so cool. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another... No! Oh, no, 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 you can't. <laughs> Did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley oh. picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. 
I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. <laughs> it's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. <laughs> Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> practice. <laughs> Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome oh. back. Oh, you may have noticed things. that this room has begun yeah. to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Yeah. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh god, is that the adventure line? So now what? I get on the... Now that we know your choices are... <laughs> now I can't jump off the edge. ...you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. Yeah, because that has never happened in any game. possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. <laughs> okay, so nothing has changed that will cause that. Okay, so now we're heading back to where we were. I'm feeling like we're inside a story, inside a bigger so story, because I'm still waiting for uh, the next restart, so that things are... Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. <laughs> <coughs> now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, okay. So now we are back here at this thing. Can I go back and pick up the phone? I wonder what happens on the phone. No! Why did you no? do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. And things, whoa, things are really starting to, to deteriorate. Look at this. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Yes, things look normal here. Uh, oh, it's oh. ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, <laughs> my story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? Yeah, what did everywhere. You that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worth this now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. 
Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. <laughs> what, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. <laughs> oh. My story. Yeah. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. This behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, let us choose the one on the left. So what happens now? Is Are things working now? Yet there was not a single yeah. person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Ah, I can't open the broom closet. No, and I can't Coming go to a now. Staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his <laughs> boss's office. Uh. Boss, 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 Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, Surely. he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then <gasps> spoke the code. What? What? I want to speak. Into the receiver. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. <laughs> Can I wipe it? <laughs> like V or C? I'm sorry, is there a problem? Well, you I'm mute. You me, did you? I'm kind Please of mute. Speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. But I... I... I'm mute, damn it! I can't speak! Okay, fine, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. Oh. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. 
The end. Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. <laughs> do something. <coughs> Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? <laughs> Okay. It's okay, I can wait. <coughs> you need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Yeah, I am. I think we kind of sidetracked uh, the um, reboot thing, so I'm gonna stop it he here. Uh, we've probably gone on for more than long enough. So that concludes episode four of the Stanley Parable, and I'm gonna do uh, at least a couple more, just to see. If not, just to see what happens to that damn computer. So yeah, thank you for watching, and like always, this is Dragonor saying, "Wuften, Aldra." <laughs>